What's up guys? We are currently at an airfield here in Central California that is kind of a secret location and the reason being is that this is the home of Archer's flight test facility. And you guys remember Archer, the last time that we saw their aircraft was at their unveiling event where we got a nice up close and personal look at the aircraft, but at that time it was just a static display. It wasn't moving, it wasn't working. But since then, they've got the whole plane outfitted, rigged up, ready to go for the test flight, which is happening today. All right, this is Matt. He is the head honcho here at Archer's flight test facility. I mean, what, what's your actual job position? I'm the flight test lead. Okay. So tell me what, uh, since you guys have moved out here to the flight test facility, what has gone on so far to get to where we are? Yeah, we've done lots of testing. Since we've been down here, we've been able to strap down to the ground and do ground runs. Like full throttle? Absolutely. You have? Full throttle. How much thrust are you creating at that point? And uh, like. Did you guys test the anchors that you have into the ground? We did. We did a pull test, yeah. Okay, because uh, I'm just like picturing like one coming loose and... Yeah, no, that would be bad. It would be a weird phone call yep. to the... For sure. That's guys. a call I never want to make, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're ready to go at this point, right? So you Absolutely. guys have gotten through everything that you were working out, software bugs. Yep. Now, tell me this. Obviously, there's so much you can do with like simulation and analysis and all that, but there's always got to be that what if. Like, yep. are you nervous? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm super nervous. <laughs> we have 12 motors, six of them tilt. We have 10 control surfaces. It's a lot of different things that could move to it to make our aircraft roll, pitch, yaw, or climb or descent. We have so it's a lot of coordination between all of those and so many variables. Yep. With virtually no room for error because this is the only one. This, yeah. This is the only one yet. <laughs> yeah. One thing I can say is this is not your guys' first time wiring. Like, that's a beautiful job. Right. At this point, I, I have zero idea what I'm looking at, but I do know that this is uh, beautiful wiring. I actually sent a photo of your guys' wiring to my guy that runs all my wiring, and I'm like, what do you got? <laughs> he was like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, one thing I did want to ask you about is this landing gear, because I see that there's a pivot here, but how exactly does that work? Like, it, clearly there's some sort of suspension that you have going on. Yeah, there is. So this landing gear is connected through a torsion tube to the leg on the other side. And then there are oleos inside the fuselage to help with uh, some of that sway control, as you were saying before. The fact that it's got the torsion tube across allows both to go up and down on the struts, mm -hmm. but it has some sort of sway control, which is something that no one's done yet, at least in my, like the bush plane world. Everyone puts these long travel shocks, but when you do it, there's no sway control. You can't taxi in a crosswind or land on a side hill. Mm -hmm. So that's a cool design. All right, guys, this is Eric Wright. And for those of you that watched my last video, we, we actually talked before. You're the lead of certification here at Archer, right? Yeah, that's correct. And the Wright name comes from the Wright brothers. That's correct. So he's actually a descendant of the Wright brothers' first airplane ever flying. So what I, what I brought out here, which will be flying on Maker when we do the first flight, yeah. is a piece of the original fabric from the uh, Wright 1903 first flight aircraft. Wow. I'm like scared to hold that, but. That's pretty awesome. Piece of the right flyer. Okay, so what I will say, what I noticed the big thing on the front of this plane is the experimental sticker that was not there before. So tell me what we went through or what you guys went through to get here. We invited the FAA to come. What they do is they come in and they inspect the aircraft. They spend a lot of time going through the aircraft logbooks and our build records. And the paperwork you handed over, I mean, we we're talking like little book or big book? It depends on the project. Sometimes it could be a paper or two. Sometimes it could be volumes of uh, analytical data or something like that. But on this project? On this it? project, it's going to be a lot of data. They went through the aircraft with a fine tooth comb um, and they issued a experimental certificate. This experimental certification is a big deal. There's not many that have gotten that, but one big hurdle underway. The next big, big one is type certified real. I mean, at that point, you're full real aircraft. No experimental, way less limitations. Yes, you've hit the nail on the head with that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous? No. Okay. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, I am with Calum, and we are at what is this? This is basically their mobile control. That's it, yeah, mobile control unit. 
Uh, this is where all of our responsible engineers sit during the flight, uh, monitoring flight data and keeping an eye on the airplane. So you guys are monitoring everything. How much are you actually controlling from here versus how much is just a program or a software that it's running? Commands get sent from here. Everything that's needed for the vehicle to actually fly is already on the vehicle. It's self-sustaining. From here, we just kind of request it to do certain tasks. What we'll see today is, uh, is a hover. Um, and it's kind of our, our first step through the flight campaign of Maker. I mean, just a hover, that's kind of understating <laughs> it. This is a, a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think just a hover is, uh, is how we might expect some of the outside world to see it. And um, to us, I mean, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's massive. There's just, everything is built up to this. And if something were to go wrong, what, I mean, what? What then? Do you guys uh, have like a... It's very situational, right? We have, uh, button? Absolutely. So there's a checklist for everything in aviation, right? Yeah. Um, depending on the scenario, it can be uh, you know, as simple as, uh, let's just come home and, and look at what went wrong and try again. Um, if it gets any more serious than that, it's up to the, the pilot and the team to kind of decide what needs to happen. Gotcha. I don't see any sort of control stick of any type either. So what, I mean... Oh, yeah, that's the fun part. Are you guys just using up and down arrows? Like... Dude, plug a USB joystick in there. You could fly this thing. <laughs> Oh, there's a sim. Yeah. Can I fly it? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. All right. It feels like NASA Control Center. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're looking at is the pilot display. What you're going to do is select a flight plan. Go ahead and execute. That's it? That's it. And uh, we're about much. to take off here. I've pictured a lot oh. more procedures. No, almost, yeah. Hit uh, take off. Take off. Oh, yeah. see, I had to click twice. We, this is execute. where we'd call tower and uh, make sure that we're cleared to fly. And then you can uh, take off. And then, so if there was an issue, you would be divert, land now. Those are, I mean, as yeah, the pilot, exactly. that's yep. really all the controls he has. Yeah, so let's say you want to get on the ground as soon as possible. You can hit land now and execute that. I mean, what would be the, the protocol if you guys did have the aircraft starting to drift or go somewhere that, like, wasn't supposed to go? Exactly that. We'd Just land now. The contingencies. And what land if it wasn't now. listening? Uh, land now gets on the ground as fast as possible. Return Just, home comes back to its, its yeah. uh, intended landing spot. But what if it wasn't listening? Is well, there a lost link test. procedure? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Lost link will come back home. Oh, well. Yep. Okay. Interesting. So we're out here watching the guys tow the plane out, getting prepped for flight. Here it goes. Rad. That actually looks fake right now, how smooth that is. I expected, I think, a little bit more of the wandering. That's that out. All right, guys, first flight of the Maker aircraft went off flawlessly. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna be saying, well, that was just a hover, that wasn't that impressive, but to realize how much went into this and how many things that, if one minor little issue came up, could have been catastrophic, but nothing did, is monumental. And I'm sure all the guys at Archer are gonna sleep well tonight. I'm so excited I was here to see this, and I cannot wait for what's next. I hope you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at Archer's first test flight. Thank you again, Archer, for inviting me out to this. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.